Welcome to the Imperial Hotel. Well, we had to go to the cemetery, a cemetery again. Ligia Shulska, here on the invitation of Svetlana Romyantseva. Yes, we are expecting you, of course. The uh, soiree is taking place in apartment 237, second floor. I wish you a thrilling and successful evening. I'm impressed. How did you sort that out? Our name still means something. Let's do our best to keep it that way, all right? Hey, man. Don't look at me. Oh. Something's amiss. There's a salute or... And it's a... Who are you? Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, of course. These people are just waiting for us to put a foot wrong, understand? We're walking into the Viper's Den, brother. Everything's all right. I just got a little lost in thought. I'll be good, I promise. I'm going to hang around here a little longer. I'll meet you upstairs. Huh. See you there. Mm -hmm. There's a salutor here. Fucking slithering one of that. Oh, true. Now I've got two points. Now I can actually go into... We'll develop that. And yeah, that's all I got for now. Well, well, someone new. Good evening. Good evening, Viktor Shulski. Irina Orlova of Those Orlovs. This is Natalia Obolenskaya, and this strangely quiet soul is our delightful Sofia Skawan. Irina is exaggerating. <laughs> Nice to meet you, Mr. Shulsky. The Governor General's daughter herself. How do you? What can you tell us? How are you enjoying yourselves? We can't complain. Seeing as we're debutantes, we're getting a lot of attention. Really? Maybe you'll tell us something about yourself. I need to slip away for a moment. Oh no, what a shame. Yeah, don't worry. I'll come back once I've found out something about you. That sounds a bit creepy. There'll be something else around here. Something's. What's up, Maji? What did we come here for? These soirees are for old people. Good evening. May I? Please, we're not discussing anything consequential. <laughs> you keep on worrying about yourselves. I intend to make the most of this evening. See, I told you he was in love. Miss Skawan is out of your league, my friend. To say nothing of her father. Old Scowan and I are practically on first name terms now. You'll see. I'm sure. So, one eye-catching girl has already got an admirer. What does that leave us, Maxime? Hmm, not much. The dull, the silly, or, well, the old. En parlant de Ligia Shuska, <laughs> she just passed this way. Pigs will fly before someone fancies her. She'd actually prefer Sophia Skawan, according to what I've heard. Well, what do you think? My name is Viktor Shulsky. Well, there we have it.
Mm. Forgive me, gentlemen. <laughs> Please give our greetings to your sister. Back off, mate. You know what? Annoying me so much that I'm just gonna go over and just talk to. Which one of you's. What are oh, Mr. Skullsy? Nah, man, I'm not yours. Isn't that our Mr. Schulz? There we go. I've heard a certain secret. Do you want to hear it? Come now, we won't tell anyone. Someone was recently playing with a lock on one of the gilded cages, wondering what would happen if all the birds escaped captivity. And I know for certain it was one of you. Sophia, that sounds like you. Admit it. And now what will happen to us, Mr. Shulski? Let, let's do a little bit of a uh, little bit of a tease. of yours. That's the only way to keep everyone in check. <laughs> no, I some... Our fathers don't know we're here. There you are. How naughty! None of your fathers know. None, especially not Sophia's. Otherwise, he wouldn't have let her come. I'm very satisfied with this trade. And what now? Tell him about myself. I suspect you want to hear more about the book. We've never met a thaumaturgist before. To tell the truth, I didn't believe they existed. A thaumaturge? Don't worry. But now you do. That trick with the cage. You've impressed me. Let's I need to slip away for a moment. We should go as well. We've really forgotten ourselves around you. Uh, it's nice to hear, but I understand. The soiree won't wait. I hear Rumyantseva has invited a real medium. Will there be ghosts? That I'd like to see. Will there be ghosts? No, fam. I can't say. I don't really want to talk to these cousins. Let's see if I can. Let's see with my with my pride now. I can talk back. No. <laughs> Damn it. If only I need to say more prideful things. I need to be like Vegeta. I need to say I'm the Prince of All Saiyans. Okay. Things this way, but are there things this way? And I'm supposed to go back. I'm trying to see if there's shit I can look for over here. Okay, everything is this way, so we can just go forward as normal. Mr. Shulsky? I didn't expect to see you here of all places. You Me? don't know how very flattering that is. And what brings you to the Imperial? The cream of Warsaw society is here, so I thought it would be worth showing my face. With a name like yours, I'm sure you fit right in. After all, someone must have invited you. Bro, I just don't like how he's emphasizing some of these words. I'm not worthy. My sister brought me along out of pity, I think. And so, Miss Ligia is here too. Why do you ask? No reason. Nah, this cousin's an old this evening. Who knows? I don't like how he's talking. Because when I originally saw him at the graveyard and walked away, I had some sort of vision. There's a salutor here. You'll need it, since Ligia ended up with the entire inheritance. My sister didn't inherit everything. 
That's right, in fact. After all, Stanislav had his little black magic book. But I don't see you carrying it. Two is more than I can carry. I left it at home. Understandable. Okay. Who did you say you were to my father? A trusted acquaintance. I supported him with good advice. Though truth be told, he rarely needed it. Your father had a gift for making good decisions. Which of my father's decisions would those be? Once that were good for your family, perhaps we'll have the chance to return to this another time. Goodbye, Mr. Shulsky. Yes, I'm sure. See, he's just moving so weirdly. I don't, know. I don't like it. He's moving like a snake, bro. bit wasted there's absolutely nothing in here okay I was just making sure oh it's that girl that they were talking about thaumaturgy never fails me there is something here okay madame I can talk to her. Oh, something over here. Madame Samia. Maybe that's enough. What do you want? The trick with entering someone's head. I know one person who can do that. You're not much of a thaumaturge if you can't. Have you come here to torment me? Unmask me? I don't see any fun in unmasking you. So what do you want? I noticed a wild salutor here. I understand your being here has something to do with him in particular. Keep your nose out of this. Mm, why? Because I'm warning you. <laughs> Oh, fuck you up the hell. What do you know about this salutor? Do you know its name? Don't you? I swear that's my favorite. The name doesn't tell us much anyway. All that matters is picking out the person in this crowd with the flaw. I know perfectly well who carries the flaw. Another reason for you to stay out of it. The person with the flaw attended the seance, right? <sighs> so I'm on the right track. Have you finished? Okay. Also, oh, such a ladylike tone. Bro, that was such a quick cutscene, bro. I literally just you saw just three of the things and it instantly like went to. Editor. Oh, Saluda. <laughs> you mean yourself? So, should we finish up? That would be best. And listen to me carefully, Mr. Whatever your name is. Shulsky, but you can call me Victor. Now, Mr. Shulsky, you will vanish like a bad dream, and I will get back to work. Well, aren't you a bit of a nasty one? Not very... Not very, uh... Not very friendly. In the slightest, actually. Let's see if I can talk to my own sister. Gentlemen, meet my brother. Viktor Shulsky. The last Shulsky to wear trousers. You don't know that. Miss Ligia could yet produce an heir to the fortune. Maybe even with me, if she doesn't tell my wife. 
But let's talk like men. You intend to take over your father's company, correct? Huh? First, I suggest you mind your own business. Your marriage, for instance. Perhaps Louisa isn't the ninny you take her for. I beg your pardon? Hasn't it occurred to you that when you leave her at home, she might also take advantage of her solitude? What are you suggesting? You've got a cockle's horns. Was I being too subtle? I suppose it's true what they say about you. Yes, what's that? You've lost your mind. Hmm. Thank you. I've worked long and hard at that. Good luck with your business, miss. <laughs> oh, that is a good for I the... Feel sorry for the for them. Have I crossed the line? That isn't good for the, the sister, but... Yeah, fuck those Any guys. progress with Svetlana? Nah. I'm going. Can't be bothered talking through all these points. Hey man, they got what they wanted. They're making fun of me. Fuck him. And the general says to him, "Tell us something funny." Then Bautsky replies, "General, why don't you shoot a cannon first? That's a good one. I'll have to tell it tomorrow at the Orwaffs. Oh, Who might God. this be joining our conversation? You know, sir, your face looks familiar to me. My name is Viktor Shulsky. Ah, oh, yes, I can see something in your eyes. I was sorry to hear about your father. I'll see you next time, darling. Wonderful party. See you there. Someone's got a f Hmm. I'm looking at everyone in here that, that might have the floor. I think I've offended the creme de la creme of Warsaw. This is hardly the creme de la creme. How do you find my soiree? I admit I'm getting reacquainted with the social scene. You spent a long time traveling, didn't you? Ah, a yeah, good 15 years here. Yeah. Over that time, I got used to harsher surroundings. Believe me, drawing rooms can be just as dangerous as untamed steps. You've met Anastasia and Marina. What about the others? I've already met several distinguished guests. Madame Samira definitely stands out. She is exceptional, isn't she? Her presence is the crowning glory of the evening. Has anyone else caught your eye? Ivan Konechkin, for instance. Apparently, he knew my father. How remarkable. I wasn't aware. Konechkin is something of a secretive person. And have you yet had occasion to meet the debutants of the season? Mm. I'll be sure to seek them out. I don't think I've been able to see them. Sophia Skowen herself is to grace us with her presence. I think I saw well, her. Well. I suggest you move quickly. The competition is fierce. The crux of the matter is that I'm here because of my father. You knew him. That doesn't sound like a question. Of course, I was his customer. I truly am sorry for you. Both of you. The death of someone close is always a dreadful death. Yeah, my guy doesn't like his father, so Please it matter. accept my condolences. Hmm. Let's talk about this thing. Part of the Tsar's court. It Keep it a, a bit casual. And a curse. Forgive me if I do not elaborate. Now, Prince Petrona Petrovna, I must insist. Can you tell me something more about my father? Mr. Shulsky, I assure you, we have the most delectable vodka. Besides that, I warmly encourage you to join Madame Samira's seance. It will be an unforgettable experience. Hmm, I wonder, is that truly everything I was worried oh. offer you? I've got no choice but to suffer through tonight. 
Yeah, I saw Ooh, that. The subtle, the worse. very subtle thread of a flaw. She, yeah, she wants to tell me something. It's this, I've, Yvonne, bro. I knew it. She doesn't want to talk because this cousin's around. I swear it's because of that cousin, bro. I felt something. Where is it? I know something's here. Why is her? Why does she have just an open ass bedroom? I'd hate this. Would you guys ever have a bedroom like this? Especially with like a party. Like if I want to go to sleep, people can you know party without you being there. I don't want it to be this goddamn open. People can literally just stare at me. Okay. All of Slovenia's dears, no wonder Slovenia was reluctant to talk if she's afraid of someone watching her closely. Especially if that someone knows a lot about her, and maybe even even her pent-up desire to escape. Besides, she had an affair with my father. Maybe I can- I knew it! And I asked her about what I came here for, the black grimoire. I knew she- That cousin was, was hitting it, bro. I knew it. Cousy was getting in there. I was looking for you. Do you smoke, Mr. Shulsky? I've quit. In light of our approaching conversation, why don't we dispense with the pleasantries? Call me Svetlana. Uh, I was about to say her name, but I was, I'm just going to butcher it. Let's go with this the first. Large travel chest. You changed your mind about whether or not to pack. Right then, I wanted to escape badly, but that would have had its own consequences. In this game of false appearances, I'm the best. The burned note. Who sent it? I only sensed underhanded kindness. Da, the Ochrana. I don't know which one of them exactly, if that's what you're asking. I've worked hard at it. It stands for Atelenie po ochranieniu abszczestiennoj bezpasności i pariatka. In other words, the secret police. I know what they are. I'd like to know what they want. Knowledge. The Tsar's eyes and ears must be on guard. They infiltrate not only the city, but most importantly, the court. Mm, and me and my soirees too, I'm sure. When did you receive this note? A few weeks ago, back before your father. I see. Okay, you two had an affair. <sighs> two grown up, lonely people found momentary comfort in each other's arms. But romance wasn't behind that relationship. It was just that we were both looking in the same direction. We're just both looking about horns, bro. What do you mean by looking in the same direction? <sighs> I still don't know how this lovely note ended up in your hands. But in addition, I found a lovely strings of pearls, and on it, your feelings of guilt. Your power is terrifying. Do you know that? Talk about the strings of pearl. Nah. Let's just go I straight hope to you the. I know something about the Black Grimoire. My father left it to me in his will, but the Grimoire has gone missing. No. And the collapsed building? Have you been there? Not yet. We, we should However, have probably gone there. Hard it is, you should check there. 
It will give you more understanding than all the investigators put together. Well, someone's definitely Dear taken boy, it. I know nothing about Stanislav's book. I'm sorry, but I can't help you there. But I she's, will not let you leave. She's got hand. more throats. I strongly believe that there is one place you ought to visit. What you find there belongs to you. Thank you. Yeah, she's got more threads. I need to follow her thoughts. Back to the bedroom. Oh my lord. What's in here this time? Letters. Oh. That salute doors around here. I feel like it's that Ivan White guy. That's a long ass snake as well. I know you. I remember you from books. What's your name? <laughs> Don't run away. Splendid ladies, distinguished gentlemen, the hour is at hand. With lights dimmed and the curtains drawn, the souls of the dead slowly gather among us. On their command, I will give the chosen among you a tarot card as your invitation to the table. For you, sir? That same cousin from that graveyard. Ha! <laughs> she gave me the fool's card. Fool. Our dear madame is fooling around. Bro, she's trying to push me away, but bro, you ain't pushing me away that easy. I'm pushing P. Wasting time on this. Let us gather in secret ritual. Let's not keep the souls waiting too long. Let us also make every effort together not to spoil their visit. Okay. Find the person. With the floor, I think I'm starting to run out of observations though. Oh. Do I not have mine three? Fuck, I've got mine too. Oh, this is stupid. I can't get any more mined as well because I haven't gotten the Sally tool. Nah, this is bullshit, bruv. What? I can't get any more as well. Is there anything else I can find? Did I see that you've met this Madame person? I've taken a long, deep look at Samira. She's no medium. Samira is a thaumaturge on the hunt. On the hunt? Madame has spotted a salutar that's attached to one of the guests. What kind of salutor? Pick Remember long those fucking snakes. Fairy tales mother used to read us. Uh, and the legend of the golden snake? Yes, Velas. Yes, I'm glad you're here. Are you also hunting for him? I admit I like to have him. I haven't made up my mind. Be careful. I am. That's why I haven't made up my mind. <laughs> Sofia Skawan, the Governor General's daughter. Do you know her? 
No, and I don't suggest you make her acquaintance either. Skawon can't stand thaumaturges. Hmm. Guess who I ran into again? All mysterious and carved up. Ivan Konietkin? What do you know about him? Mm, not much. He was an acquaintance of Papa's. Yes, we know well, that. in theory, it's thanks to him that we're here. What? Ligia? I know that nothing comes for free, but he really didn't want anything. Yeah, he looks like a real altruist. Mm. Unfortunately, Svetlana doesn't want to breathe a word of it. I'm sure she doesn't trust you. In company like this, that speaks well of her. Why the cold shoulder, Ligia? I've never liked her. Her manner gets under my skin. I've heard she's a dreadful schemer. Hmm. Okay. Did you know that Papa had an affair with the host of this party? Uh, are you sure? Absolutely. As sure as the thermometers can be. I felt what he felt when, uh, well, you know. Oh, stop. That's disgusting. Quickly, change the subject. <laughs> you enjoying yourself in this viper's den? Oh, the vodka is quite tolerable. I'm observing my own brother taking out his anger on ordinary mortals. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm going. Okay, cool. So I think I just have to go back. Shusky, don't play with me. I saw one of your posters. You look different in it. Really? The illustration doesn't reflect reality. Right, she's got the she's got that roll in the eye. No one warned me <laughs> that I should get in costume for the party. Ugh, I beg your pardon. I'm just noting that you stand out among these boring guests. Impudent. Just a bit uncouth, I'd say. Do you know the hostess well? Will you leave me alone if I say I don't? No. Svetlana Pietrovna invited me, and I am doing my best to meet her expectations. Let's keep out of one another's way. Whose I got soul one more. are you summoning tonight, dear madame? I only know which one I'd prefer to I banish. Could, I could not be this cousin. Maybe my dead father's. If you All the social, that, social interactions on trouble. people I don't know and who now act like the case to me. Whose soul are you summoning? Oh, that's not what I wanted. I'll disappear. For now. Sometimes it's good to let things go and leave other people in peace for your own benefit. I think I'll take up this gauntlet. Okay. Now I can talk to Sophia. Fulski, may I have a word? How can I help? I thought she my doesn't like thermometers. I just plain truth order, and now it's my turn. Won't you dazzle me with your powers? Uh, I guess I could. Your father would not be thrilled about you playing games with the Thaumaturge. Maybe that's precisely the point. To keep violating his wishes? Violating? Okay. First, please tell me the rules of this game. Of course, I'm being silly. After all, you've been away a long time. It's simple. Each player in turn must admit a truth or accept a dare. Anyone who doesn't must drop out of the game and thereby loses. And I don't like to lose. Okay. I would guess that to you, a dare would be the lesser of two evils. How very perceptive. 
It involves finding out my comrades' secrets. Irina, Maxim, or Sergei. The trick is that you're cleverer at it than I am. I accept. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Let it's me see what I can find. Will any secret do? Any. I wait anxiously for your return. Okay, alright, bit, bit, bit. I'll take a look around. Alright, shit there. That's Sophia though. This one is... I don't even know who that is. A friend's secrets. Hesitancy prevents Irina from making a decision if she feels torn. She would like to indulge herself and spend some time with Maxine, but she cannot make such a move. Thus, she's in limbo, going over all possible scenarios. Something right here. The loner's secret. Maxim is lonely. As we all are from time to time. She he tries to drown his feelings in alcohol, but the effect is the opposite of his intentions. His attention is drawn by Sophia Scalian's friend, Irina. Okay. Something over here. Sergei can't stop thinking about Sophia. He cares about how her so much he's willing to do anything for her. He can't understand why Sophia doesn't re reciprocate her feelings, which frustrates him. He considers me a rival admirer. There ain't no damn stalker. That's all you care. I literally just got here. Why am I being looped up with you loonies? So you're getting impatient. What have you found out? Hmm. As far as Sergei. Yes. I'll be honest, he'd do anything for you. Anything, you say? Okay, Maxine let's get everyone's secrets. On his mind. Miss Irina. Oh, I knew it! Might Irina return his interest? Miss Irina would like to get to know Maxim better, but she keeps hesitating. What? She never told me. Some friend she is. I mean, sometimes you oh, don't want to... I was wondering where you'd gone off to. You know Sergei, don't you? We're already acquainted. She looks Mr. at Fusky every kiss. and I have completed my extra difficult dirt together. At your service. Now, time for truth. Are you seeing anyone? Oh, no. Sophia, the scheming of Scallon's daughter has made her the elite's favorite. Her plots provide distraction and make up the context of keenly spread gossip at the moment. I am the object of her game. She's teasing me despite her father, who hates Thaumatos, or is it just as charades to mask her loneliness? Maybe we should not reveal all our secrets to one another right away. Mr. Shulsky, our time is up. Sophia and I must leave for the Seros. I will tell all the secrets. Britain. Thank you once more. See you. Oh, the something was wrong for her. Chased Sophia Skawan and her floor here. She seemed like such an innocent girl, didn't she? It's no coincidence she focused on me. 
After all, old Scowan hates Thaumaturgus. The little scam. If I wanted to serve that little schemer's floor, I'll have to join that sepulchral table. Either her scheme or her jealous knight in shining armor will help me identify her flaw. I hope her father doesn't find out. Yeah, she's so, so it was her. After the game of Trooper D, something flickered around Sophia. A flaw induced by scheming. It fits after all. Sophia has a fondness for high society and playing games. The Sally tour of the Imperial Hotel. Valis, the insider, is lured by the flaw of the schemer, Sophia. In order to capture him, I'll have to play by the rules here, which means exposing Sophia to some stirring experience. I sense that a scandal is inevitable. Ooh. Getting interesting. Is this seat free? The energy right, that cuzzy, that cuzzy must be so pissed. I, I am losing oh, contact with these souls. Again. I'm just well, trying to get him with this the girl. Souls that chose me after all. It's true. The gentleman has a card. <laughs> Looks like everyone's a bit of a schemer in this place. Interesting, interesting. Let us lay our hands on the table. Let us allow our minds to liberate themselves from our bodies. There's always a little schema in these types of games. Are you thinking of someone exceptional whom you wish to summon? That's exactly the sort of person I had in mind. Oh, is it a long lost love? Rather a future delightful acquaintance. Leave her alone. Hey, I didn't say, I didn't, cuz I didn't say anything. I'm just, dear guests, I implore you. To bro, it ain't my fault, bro. What do you mean I don't have mind? Oh, I want to irritate him. I mean, this won't be good because this will bring the right salad tool out. As I long as the salad tool comes right out, because since I'm going Focus after, on you want to make contact surely with. if it comes out, I can go after. Would it do will make you something? Happy something is gonna. This poor man and me. Our name's gonna go to the mud, but the salutor can go suck one. Are you all going to fight now? Maybe that, um... Choose a location. Madam might help us over me would be when the salutor comes out. Yes, I'm all for so action. I never get this dare. shit twisted. You were supposed to stay away. I was supposed to leave here with Velis. Hey man, I want this. I want this bloody one. I'll take you both on. Spare yourself the trouble. It was a fair fight. But I don't intend to hold you here. Truth be told, I even feel sorry for you. What does that mean? Rid yourself of the pride you've got within. Otherwise, it will lead you to the gallows. Enough of this. There's a sadditor waiting for me. Enjoy him, fool. Let's go then. <laughs> What's up, old friend? You old scaly bastard. I don't have enough at this moment. Okay. Um, how much? 
How good is this mental state? Because if I can crack it. I'll just keep trying to crack this because he's mentality. There we go. Goodbye, brother. Damn. Took like no damage from that one. I took damage from that though. Okay. I need to try to crush this guy's mentality as well. He's up this damage. So it don't matter. I'll just keep doing this. Eventually he's going to lose focus. Damn. Damn. I need to attack, but I'm going to just keep doing this. Oh, now he's in a, now he's in a suffering state. Oh, fuck. Oh no, this ain't good. Yeah, I'm losing this one. I was really hoping he would survive so because he could take take some damp so I can get some healing back. Bro, I just have to keep on doing this and hope I heal back because there's three of them. Oh, that was not a Come on, please. I need to get my health back. Damn. Shit. We'll plan this. Okay, I'll do it this way. He's gonna buff his guy, then we're both gonna hit. And then now he's gonna attack me. We'll be alright. You'll fight the six. So, this is fight the six. So I don't got to worry about him and I'll heal back whenever. Then I'll take damage from this. Switch to this cuz he... We'll do a plane attack. And we're good cuz we still got basically a turn or two. Okay, and now 
Okay, so my guy goes, and then I go. Then he can, sh then he can shoot me right after. Which we're fine with. And then I take damage from big guy. Nine. Issue an order. You attack him. And then I'll just use breakdown. Okay, I'll get good luck because. We'll use a plan attack and then do this. get my health back even though a lot of it's going away would have been better going for you next knock the fuck out goofy get hit by four Yeah, I guess I'll just start trying to wild on this dude. Ow! How much damage will this be doing? Not much. And it's a shank. There we go. One out of three chance, then I'll get hit. Okay, 10 damage. We're good though. There we go. Oh. Guess I can wait a turn since I will be getting some health back. Should be done. Because even if she shoots me, she can't do enough damage. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Just wait until Rasputin sees you. Then you'll stop fighting me. Ladies and gentlemen, Let's as you go. can see, this evening the souls were particularly restless. The souls have now told me everything I needed to hear. And you, sir, what can you tell us? Sergey, please wait a moment. Mr. Schultz, I was only being a dickhead to draw out the so goddamn thing. I, I got it done in the end. You don't understand how my limit. Congratulations to you both. It was like 20 30 minutes of straight battling. I can see I won't convince you. 
I have to explain myself. Let's go. It was me who provoked the whole situation. Bro, I, so, I don't have the, the, the upgrades required to actually to do, do some of these things. So I'm just what there. Just all this for? What's going on here? The guests are complaining, and with good cause, I see. We're terminating this disaster. One moment. First, well, Mr. I, I, will I, I, got one one. I came back with a salutal. For my own freely chosen reasons, I was looking for something here and I found it. I regret that it was at someone else's expense. Enough wistful chatter. Will the gentleman with a book be leaving peacefully or should we show him out? Ah, oh, bro, don't worry. No need. I can make it to the door. Madame, honored guests. Victor, don't scare me like that. Mr. Sursky, are you all right? I think it's time for us to go. I'll snug us a carriage. You'll have a hard time at this hour. I'll drop you off. See, you can always count on Mr. Konechki. Victor. Thank you. That's very polite. God damn, so much shit happens. What's going on, man? All these demons and shit. Thank you for an interesting evening. I'm sorry it all turned out like this. Not tonight, please. Sleep well. I'll come back in the morning. You're going out? Where? To get rid of my pain. <laughs> 